This is a list of the dumbest things that any customer has ever said. There's this person who doesn't realize they need to unwrap their medication. And this woman who doesn't realize the animals in a park are wild. And also someone who doesn't realize New Mexico isn't in Mexico. I was standing next to a huge bathroom sign restocking silverware as a woman in her mid-30s entered the establishment. Woman. Sir, where is the bathroom? Me. Down the hallway, ma'am. I pointed to the direction the sign was pointing. Woman. No, it isn't. Me. Uh, what? I was not prepared for what she said next. That's a couple's restroom, see? Man and woman. So I says, Oh no, that's a unisex bathroom. You can use it. Woman. I'm not unisexual. I'll just run over to Applebee's. Couples that poop together stay together. Once, while working at an eye doctor's office, a woman was upset because we were charging her to make new lenses with an updated prescription. She was getting frustrated and asked, why do you have to make new lenses? Can't you just inject some more medicine into the ones I already got? Liquid lenses. I wear my liquid lenses everywhere. Years ago, before the internet was a thing, oh, that was a long time ago, I worked in a small electronics shop. One day, I got a phone call and it went like this. Him, yeah, hi, I was just wondering, how far is it to your shop? At that moment, I knew exactly what to say. Oh, it's just a few miles away. I was volunteering as a cashier at a used bookstore for the library. It was not my regular job, but I did it often. In came this older fellow who bought a big stack of books for about 10 bucks. He was really nice and chatty, though he didn't seem entirely aware mentally. It was not a big deal, and I just had to explain sales tax and the book pricing a couple of times before he seemed to get it. Things cost money. Money, you must pay me for these books. He paid by credit card, and I explained to him how to sign the touchscreen for the payment to go through. Then it got weird. How does signing the touchscreen get weird? He asked for my name, which no customer had ever really done, but I told him anyway. He then took the iPad and told me he was going to sign my name for the card so they would know to send the money to me. Before I could say, no, wait, he submitted the signature. <laughs> How are you gonna pay with a credit card? Did them send the money to you? What you? As a pharmacist, I had to explain to a man that you need to take the suppositories out of their foil packaging before you use them. He complained that they didn't work and wrong. Do you know what suppositories are? Suppositories are the little things that go, yep. He didn't take them out of the packaging. That had to hurt. No wonder they were uncomfortable. Oh. Ouch. Working in Banff National Park, I've seen some stupid tourists. But this one woman was downright dangerous. She asked me what time we let the animals out as they wanted to get photos. I just looked at her for a second and then went into the spiel of all the animals found in the national park are wild and we strongly recommend you keep your distance as they are unpredictable. I wonder if she tried to go up and get a picture with them nope. though. I worked at a supermarket in the dairy department. One day, as I was stocking eggs on the shelf, a customer asked, Where is the Eggos? Me? They're in the frozen department. Customer? No, I buy them in this aisle. Me? We don't have waffles in the dairy department. Customer? Not the waffles, they are liquid eggs. I've worked here for years. We don't sell Eggo brand liquid eggs. Customer? What do you call that? She pointed to Egg Beater brand liquid eggs. <laughs> No. I fly private jets. Me too. I wish. Once we were flying east early in the morning, so the sun was directly in our eyes. I was quite used to this, but apparently not everyone on board was as comfortable. Do you think? I hate having the sun in my eyes. The passenger was sitting directly behind us on the jump seat. He leaned forward and uttered the stupidest question I've ever heard. What's it gonna be? He asked me, is there any way we can just climb and get above the sun? No. It's not possible. Please go back to high school. I used to work at the UPS store in high school. Our last pickup was at 7 p.m. and we closed at 8 p.m. Since we had private information and people's personal mailboxes in the store, security was a big deal. It was 8.30. Our tills were counted down, the alarm was set, our copiers, fax machine, and computers were shut down, our lights were off. We had also closed and locked a ginormous red gate that separated the entrance from the rest of the store. Some woman ran up to the door and like some demon in a horror movie, she hurled herself against the glass and screeched like a banshee. Keep in mind, we are very obviously closed with a sign saying we are closed, no lights on, and a giant red gate drawn down over the store. She began pounding on the glass and frantically yelling at us. My coworker was worried that something was wrong, like maybe she was being chased and needed help. He carefully opened the door just a crack to ask what was wrong. She immediately tried to wedge her hands and head in the crack and asked, are you open? 
open? No! We informed her that we obviously weren't. Her logic was, well, you opened the door, so now you have to help me. She began wailing and crying that she had to mail a package. We explained that even if we were open, our last pickup was an hour and a half ago, and we couldn't even mail it until tomorrow. She protested and protested, and we eventually got the door shut and locked. That's a common thing. You can put a big sign out in front of your place that says you're closed, and people will just bang on the glass. They, well, I see people! People means you have to be open. She kept pounding on the glass, saying, I know you're open. As we debated what to do and if we should call the authorities, this lady pulled out her cell phone and called them herself. The officers arrived, we explained the situation, and the woman accused us of lying, despite the sign on the door saying we were closed an hour ago at this point. Then, in front of the officer, and on security camera, the woman launched herself at my coworker and hit him in the face. She immediately jumped back and began fake crying that he had hit her. We were dumbfounded. She ended up getting detained and my coworker pressed charges. So the stupidest question I got was, are you open? Her life was on the line if that package didn't go out tonight. I worked in a cell phone store. I spent 90% of my day explaining that just because Facebook is on your phone doesn't mean we control Facebook, your email, or any other problematic app. Once had an ask for a manager type come in. Oh, it was this written before they had Karen. Do you not want to use the word Karen? Why? Come in and insist that we used our computer to reset her iPhone and Apple ID. She'd gotten herself locked out by not knowing her password and her kid had tried to get around it by doing a factory reset. Doing that on an iPhone registered to Apple ID locks the phone down completely. She probably stole it. <laughs> Since she didn't have her password, she couldn't even power the phone on. When I explained that she would have to contact Apple since they were the manufacturer of the device and her Apple ID was an account with them, she absolutely lost it right then and there. She screamed, so you sell a product but you don't support your product? Before I could explain, again, that we do not make the phones, my coworker chimed in. Lady, Walmart also sells these phones. When was the last time you went to them and got a repair done? She sputtered for a minute and walked out, raging about a lawsuit that failed to materialize. There's so many people that think, like, what, I'm scared because you said you're gonna sue me? Sue me! This is a conversation I had with one customer trying to buy something online. Hello, I made an online order and I see that you've charged me the shipping cost twice. Hmm, that's weird, let me check. No, I see that it's the right amount, sir. You're wrong. I've made two orders and I've already paid the shipping cost for the first one. I shouldn't have to pay twice. Oh, I see. You've made two orders. Sure, we can make it one package and only charge you once for the shipping. But can you tell me the order numbers for your orders? Because the system shows me that you've only placed one today. This is where it unraveled. Yeah, the second one was not placed today. When was it placed, sir? I don't know, like three or four months ago, but still, I paid for the shipping cost before. Why, why would I have to pay again? This is a dialogue I had to have with a grown adult. It was a man who was looking to purchase a shirt in our store. He pointed at the price tag on a shirt and said, Excuse me. What do these numbers represent? I said, the numbers right after the dollar sign? He said, yes. That's the price of the shirt. Oh, I see. Thank you. At least he was friendly. I moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico and used to work at a call center. I once had a customer ask me where I was located and then they asked how my English was so good since I was from New Mexico. I don't know, baby, because that's a U.S. state. That was my first but not last experience with people not knowing that New Mexico is not part of Mexico but is part of the United States. Yeah, New Mexico used to be Mexico a long time ago. It's a state. Hey! Like and subscribe. I'm out of here.